All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to animate masks in After Effects. So I'm going to bring out my stock photo again. And so I'm going to have my photo selected and go up here to the toolbar and select the pen tool. And this is a great way to draw custom mask shapes. So I'm going to start making a very simple sort of rectangular shape. So I'm going to make a point here, 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 here. And you'll notice as soon as I connect up the last bit of this shape, the mask effect will take place. So now it's only showing the area which is confined within my mask I've just made. And of course, if you go down here to the mask settings, you can of course invert it so it's the other way around, but usually you'd want to have it like this so it's easier to control. All right, great. So now I've got my mask in place. What I can do now is go on this drop down menu here and I can animate the mask. And this is done through the mask path. So I'm going to go right to the start of my timeline and press this to add keyframes on my mask path. And then I'm just going to make about four seconds of animation. And I'm just going to literally uh, just manipulate these points and just have it move around here. And then if I just do a quick RAM preview like this, it will animate the mask just like that. So it will just keyframe between the two points I've created. And of course you can just simply change the actual position values, but it's easier to just actually manipulate the points so you can get a nice defined value. Okay, so I've shown you how to animate a mask to actually just show or not show an image, but I'm gonna be showing you now how to animate blurring or any effect on a mask over an object. Okay, so I'm just going to delete my composition so far and bring back my example image. And so what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to animate a blurred rectangle moving across the screen on my example image. So what I'm going to do now is create an adjustment layer to go on top of my image. So there we go. And then with my adjustment layer selected, I'm going to do the same thing and just draw in my mask. And you'll notice when I finish drawing, it won't cut out my image because it's not cutting out and masking the image, it's masking the adjustment layer instead. So it's a key factor in doing this effect. Okay, great. And then what I'm going to do is just select this. Let's change this shape slightly so it's more rectangular. And then I'm going to go back on and do the exact same thing with animating the path. I'll do about four seconds again, and I'll just literally, I can select all of them and move them at the same time, which is also handy. Okay, great. So now to add the actual effect. So I'm gonna go and right click my adjustment layer, go on effect, and go blur and sharpen, and I'm gonna add a good old lens blur. And I'm gonna keep the effect quite high so you can actually see it easier. All right, great. So now to do a quick RAM preview. And as you can see, the blurred area is moving along with the mask and the actual uh, image at the bottom isn't being cut out or anything. The only thing which is being masked is the adjustment layer. And that's the important thing about this effect. And of course, you can do this with any effect. I've just used blurred as an example because it's quite an easy one to do. So the RAM preview is almost done and I'll just show you the effect quite quickly. And there we go, you've got the mask animated and showing an effect on top of my example image. All right, so there you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And as always, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.